I grew up with a dad that was always, somebody ought to do something about that. You know, and I'd say, well, what about you? No, no, somebody should do something about that. But it was never him. He was never the somebody. Yeah, so when I, wife and I moved here, we put together a, a mission vision statement. And part of that was leaving the land in a better state than where we found it. I complain a lot, but I guess, you know, sometimes at least we're, we're part of the solution, not just always complain about what's wrong. Well, my name is Clint Blythe, and I'm a, a retired professional geologist and full-time rancher. My wife and I, we steward a little over 4,000 acres of land in southeast Saskatchewan. The water that goes through our property makes its way all the way to Hudson's Bay. And the water quality appears to be declining, um, but we don't have a lot of data on that. Uh, my name is Carrie Finley. Uh, I'm an associate professor in the Department of Biology at the University of Regina. Ultimately, the, the issues around water in Saskatchewan really stems from the fact that we don't have a lot of water. So we've got a lot of agriculture because the soils are productive. We get a lot of uh, things that are washing into our waterways. And as a result, this means that things like algae uh, can grow really easily and that can cause some additional problems beyond just being green and kind of gross, but they can start to produce some toxins as well. So typically what we would do is that we would, you know, hire some students in the summer, we'd have graduate students, we'd have people that are well trained and use some big fancy equipment that will go out, you know, once every two weeks or once every month and they will sample the water, it'll come back to the lab, it'll take us several months to, you know, get the samples analyzed for everything that we want to measure and so forth. Uh, and so this project that we're working on right now is partnering with water rangers in order to get some communities involved in sampling for water quality um, on the lakes and the rivers that they are uh, interested in boating, fishing, swimming in and so forth. I think people have uh, a very intuitive sense of what's happening. Um, they feel like things are worse than they were when they were kids or they have concerns about it, but they don't um, currently have that, that full understanding. They don't exactly know why or what's going on and it's just sort of a black box. And so I think working with water rangers and getting them out testing themselves, they can start to really understand what's happening as the season progresses, they can compare year to year. And so it really gives people a better understanding of, of what's going on in their lakes. You know, what I get out of this work really is um, just the feeling that it's really nice to be working on something that means something to people. We're doing stuff where people are really engaged, they are concerned, and we are, can have this conversation and we can help educate people and provide the data that they are looking for. You know, we're ranchers, but we're also stewards of the land and, and we're just here for the rest of our one generation. We're trying to make a difference and making sure the water quality is good and stuff, that's part of that.